things here. Um, so one thing I've said is the maximum motor amps for that motor is 500 now. Uh, so the controller converts voltage and amps from the battery to what the motor can handle. So I'm just like, hey, give it all you can get. I've, I've got like extremely thick, I think it's two alt or, uh, I know it's like welding cable. Thick cable, so I've got it on 500 amps. Max battery amps, I'm sticking with 350. There's a 400 amp fuse. In there, that'll blow if it goes too high. Max forward motor, uh, throttle rate 100%. Now, throttle settings I have set. I've noticed that uh, the car has a tough time getting up to 100%. Um, I just said, so like if it's 95% and above, just give it 100% speed. Just to make this um, controller more accessible down here, I have a blue USB cable going along into the back and there's a lot of twist ties along the way but there's also this extension USB cable that comes up right where the old contactors used to be and now I've got the software running right here on the laptop and this way the laptop's getting in the way and the cord's not being squished by the seat so th this has been a great success uh, the speedometer I've been seeing it get up to about 30 miles per hour in some places where I had a tough time just getting up to 25 uh, the it's got bite like it's very torquey now uh, you know when you're on the road in, in traffic at a stoplight you want to make sure you have enough torque to like come out into traffic, especially when you make a right turn on red. You need to get that acceleration so you're not slowing down anybody uh, who may be coming from down the road. Uh, so yeah, the, the configuration's great. It's very comparable to the lead acid batteries that were in here before I did all the upgrades to the lithium and the motor controller and the, the new motor. Um, I still need to do something about the uh, the overall speed limits there. I'm only getting, downhill I can get up to about 35. <laughs> and uh, these cars should be able to get to at least around 38. And we're talking about full charge. If the batteries drain a little bit to like 80%, I can't get up as high. Um, but there are plans to redo the whole pack and build my own batteries with 18650s. I'm going to make a few videos on that because there's some exciting stuff coming along down the line for that, but I'm still in research mode trying to figure out the, uh, the right charger and the, um, the proper BMS that I should be getting and if I should be making individual packs or make one giant large pack that can do it all. Um, but yeah, I, I love the thing. It, this, this is a nice torquey zippy car now. This is this, this has the same uh, pretty much feeling when I had the lead acid batteries in there. Uh, then I don't have the ka-chunk ka-chunk of the uh, contactors in the back. I just have that smooth throttle transition now. So yay! <laughs>